These are the colours I'll be using today. Black, purple, red, gold and blue. The gold is from Montmartre Supercell Pouring Paint that I've been trialling lately. I must say I'm really pleased with the results. All the other paints are from the Areldo Di Paolo brand, bought from Riot. Into each of my paints, except for the black and the gold, I've added some of this silicon oil from Montmartre, which I've also been trialling. The black is going to make the base, so let's get started. My pouring medium today, 50% PVA, 25% water, 25% Floetrol. I'm going to be using this container to protect my black hole in the centre. Actually, I think I'll put it up here. I'll be pouring my paints around this and then doing a swipe. I'll be using this small piece of acetate sheet to do the swipes. Perfectly dry now. The colours are stunning. The gold, the blue and the purple are just so beautiful. Now I think I have something in mind for this one. I'm not sure yet but I am going to think about it just for a little while and then I'm going to bring you straight back to show you what I've decided to do. Time to add a few highlights to this one. I'm not going to do too much to it because the colours are absolutely stunning, but I'd like to highlight these little gold tail bits down here, just a little bit more, I think, and then perhaps do something with the centre, just to give it a little bit more character in the middle. I'm going to use some of this Montmartre metallic acrylic in gold. So I've done some gold enhancements. Now I have the gold lines coming down through most of the painting. It's very subtle. I really just highlighted what was already there, but it was a little bit faint. So now I think I might do something similar, perhaps with the purple. I'm going to use these Deco Art Metallics to just add a little bit to the purple and the blue areas. This is how it's looking now. I've finished doing some of the gold lines and purple lines 
and not very much blue but just a touch now I'm a bit happier with the way the bottom is now it's just a little bit more defined now I'm going to work on this part here I have a bit of an idea I want to keep it black in the middle because it goes with the black background I want to change the texture of it though so I'm going to use a little brush and some black paint and I'm just going to sponge in another layer here and then what I think I might do is add some of this crushed gold glass I think that might really enhance it as well as help to give it a feeling of depth a little bit 3d so this is the area I'm going to work on at the moment I'm just going to use a small sponge to dab on some black paint I think I'll use the smallest one I really like the texture that this sponge gives okay I really like that that's much better than it was and I'm going to just enhance these tiny little areas in here with some of the um, glass gravel I think they call it glass gravel crushed and it's a gold color so I'm not going to put too much but just a few I think might enhance it I'm going to use some of this whole crop gel medium gloss as a glue to glue on the glass gravel it will dry clear and you won't see it when we're finished I'm just going to use a small paintbrush to apply it Now I am considering maybe just one or two of these perhaps down near the bottom of the painting as well I'm not sure how that would look but it might help to just kind of balance it out a little bit I might just try it with one or two I can always take them off so it doesn't really matter so I'm going to let this dry and I'll bring you straight back and show you what happened <laughs> 